Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Judane. As you can see from the title down below, I will be talking about things that you might not know during pregnancy. But before I get into this video, I decided to show you guys my outfit of the day and show you the baby bump. So this dress I'm wearing, I actually got it from Shein. It's very comfortable. It actually feels like I'm not wearing anything and that's the goal when you're pregnant. You want to feel free. You want to be free. You want to let the belly be free. So here's the belly. The belly popped, guys. It's getting bigger and bigger. And this is the dress. So it has like a slit on the side. It's very long and comfortable. I love the color. I, yeah, I love it. So the first thing that you might not know about pregnancy is you will break out in hives, okay, and rashes. The second thing that you might not know is that, girl, your nipples and your areola will itch. They will itch. Listen. Girl, in the beginning of my pregnancy, girl, my nipples were so itchy. I had to literally start lotioning my nipples putting shea butter on them because they were chapped, they were peeling, and they were itchy. Why? No one ever told me about that. I had to figure all that out on my own. Yeah. How come nobody told me that, that, that this was a thing during pregnancy? I did not see it in the book that says what to expect when you're expecting. So that's something I definitely did not know. So yes. The third thing is your joints will loosen. Your joints will get loose. All of a sudden, you start feeling older than how, older than you actually are, sis. Like it is a thing. Number four is your blood volume will increase to at least forty to fifty percent, and this is good news for me. To all my anemic sisters, y'all know this is good news for you guys too, because listen, I've always had issues with my blood volume. I am severely anemic and I have to be in my doctor's office every month for them to check my blood count. Sometimes I do have to go to the hospital. Like, trust me, before I got pregnant, my blood was a problem. Like, I feel like the, the pregnancy saved me. But now they're, yeah. So yeah, luckily for us anemic people, we will get an extra 40 to 50% of blood during our pregnancy eventually number five is this one is new to me because i actually didn't yeah i didn't really know this one either so number five is um your heart actually gets bigger during pregnancy mind blown i did not know that so yeah your heart gets bigger is that why i'm always tired I, like sidetrack guys i am always tired as you can see the way i breathe and sometimes i'd go like this it's because i have excessive saliva in my mouth which you guys will know i think that's something that everybody knows because you at some point you will experience that the excessive saliva is not cute mm -mm. that wasn't an, um something that you might not know because i feel like everybody might experience this during pregnancy at, at some point number six is some pregnant women actually do develop diabetes during pregnancy i think that's why they let us take that glucose test i believe number seven and number seven actually applies to me your blood type will be dangerous it will be harmful to your baby so based on your blood type you can actually harm your baby not intentionally intentionally but your blood type can be dangerous as for me i can't talk about everybody else but as for me i am o negative and um i do have to get a shot at 28 weeks during my pregnancy 
and I believe I already got one of one dose at when I had found out I was pregnant because I was spotting and they didn't want that to harm the baby so yes your blood type can be very dangerous to your fetus to your baby and I believe during after labor during the 24 hour screening they will be taking my baby and they will be doing a special test on the baby because of my blood type just to ensure that the baby is safe and yeah your blood type can actually cause you to have a miscarriage and i can go into that later if you guys want i can experience i can talk about my experience with having a rare blood type which is o negative so comment down below if you guys want me to talk about that. <sighs> yes, your girl is tired. Number eight, baby brain, y'all. Baby brain is a real thing. Baby brain is a real thing, okay? It's real. It's real. Nobody can't tell me that it's not real, sis. It's real. Yes. Fine. You will get cavities or might you might get cavities and bad breath during your pregnancy apparently it's a symptom of pregnancy that i didn't know about man mm. on top of them and this is why because during pregnancy and when you're having morning sickness sickness and you puke there's acids like in your puke that might affect your mouth like and that's why it's recommended that pregnant women sees the dentist at least every three months during pregnancy like i've actually seen where women lost their teeth during pregnancy because of this so in the beginning of my pregnancy oh my god like i hated brushing my teeth i and I, I was like oh my gosh what's going on with me because i'm always i like brushing that's something that you do you know and i realized that that had changed during my pregnancy because whenever i brushed my teeth I would gag, like literally gag. Sometimes I would puke on myself while I'm trying to brush my teeth. I, I honestly don't know why. So guys, I apologize for the lighting. There's a tree outside my window and every time, every time it sways in the wind, my lighting change. So I apologize. So your partner will or might experience some of the same symptoms that you experienced during your pregnancy thank you guys for sticking around till the end of this video there you have it guys thank you for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next video have a great day stay safe wherever you are bless